Hello there, this is Mark Barnabas, the creator of the Parasidium set of cards. The Parasidium set of cards you see here are also found together with the Data Heist game, the first game that educates the learners on data protection and cyber hygiene. And the main reason why I created this set of Parasidium cards is really because I was kind of tired of using post-its to to, to show my clients on how to create their well basic data inventory and therefore the Parisidium cards were born. And for both of you who are practitioners already, you will recognize these terms here where you know that for, all, for most legislations with regards to data protection or privacy, we are looking about anything, any personal data that is collected, used, disclosed or stored were fall under the scope of local regulations for personal data protection. And therefore, these cards serve that purpose. So there are five sets of cards and they correspond to collection, usage, disclosure, storage, and finally, protection, which is why we are doing why we do what we do, data protection. So how do we use this set of cards? Let me just very briefly show you how I would do a very basic consulting for a client to educate them on how to create their data inventory. So the first thing I will typically do is I will give them the set of collection cards, all 13 of them, and typically the customers would then choose the types of data that they are collecting that is relevant to them. And I wonder if you have noticed there was a blank card there. Yes, a blank card is there so that if these words here are insufficient, the client could write down what data they collect on the blank card and lay it nicely on what data they collect. And the next step would of course to ask the client what data, where do you store your data? And therefore, they will pick the different places where they will store their data. I mean, the moment you collect data, you have to store it somewhere, don't you? So you collect the items that, are that they use to store data. And of course, if there are data that is not their data, there's some tools that they use that's not stored there, we can use the blank cards to write out what they use to store data. And after we map out where they store data, we then, of course, map out how the client uses the data. So these are some common ways on how organizations use the data that they hold. And for sure, some of these would be used by the organization. And of course, if there's the functions are not here, there's again blank cards for the organization, the, the employee to write down what they use the data for. And the final step of a uh, final stage of uh, that we know about our data inventory and our flow is our, of course, disclosure, where how we disclose data and where we disclose data to. So likewise, clients would then select the different parties that they would disclose the data to. And, and same thing, they use the blank cards to write out any, they, any uh, party that they disclose data to that is not in the list. So, what is this last set of protection cards used for? Now, most practitioners, we all know that to map out the data inventory of the customer, we map out the collection, storage, use and disclosure. And once we map out a rough inventory, we can really spot, already spot where the gaps are and where they have risk. And these are different sets of protection and we will very quickly be able to see how well our clients are protected or whether they've applied ample or adequate protection in their organization with different ways of protection. And if you look very carefully at all these methods of protection, they are all technical, administrative, and physical. So practitioners, you will know what I'm talking about. So if your clients do not have enough of this, then there's a lot of work to be done. So therefore, the Parasidium Cards is here to focus on helping the customer develop a simple data inventory to map out what is collected, 
use, disclose and store and most importantly to protect the data and that's the reason why we have this word called parasidium because parasidium means protection in Latin. So I hope that you can use these tools for your benefit and for your clients and let us all work towards a better, more responsible and more ethical ways to protect our data and not condone cyber attacks and also to educate all employees to take care of the personal data and the data of the organization. So this is Mark Mahalabas signing off. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And of course, if you want to find out more about Parasidium and Data Heist, our game, feel free to connect with us and we will be able to send you more information about Data Heist on how it can be used to educate your employees, students, and even managers on cyber hygiene and data protection. See you then, be safe. The Parasidium one, the